Hi guys and welcome back to Diamond Paintings with Mike and we approach the last in the series of this painting. Uh, series 2 will be in January because I'm going to take a break from this now um, and then we'll bring it back in January. As I said I'm going to do this painting slightly different in the fact that it's going to be in two parts. So what we're going to be doing purely on this session here today is just basically colour filling this little block here. We've got enough time we may move on to a a different colour, 30 minutes on the clock. Boom. And yeah, we'll get moving. But uh, after this, I'm going up the news agents because I picked up £50 worth of issues yesterday. And um, I've got another lot to collect because there's somehow, I don't know how it's happened, but there's a backlog formed. And this backlog was like a couple of months ago. And it's just proven difficult because... Every time you clear it, you've got more coming in the next week. So it's it's just a bit difficult, really. But, yes, we are going to sort this out. And um, where's my thingamajig? Yeah, we'll sort this out and uh, get this sorted, shall we? Right. Oh, a minute. Nearly done that wrong here. Look at this. There's two different blacks here. So it's the letter M that we need. But uh, huge shout out to Deanna. Um, thank you very much for your subscribe um, thing, uh, it really means a lot and I'll uh, give you a sub back, um, got some nice content so yeah. Um, now I have been, yesterday, I, it's been manic, yesterday because I'm busy on the 1st of the 1st, I was putting up all the Christmas decorations and it took about, I never ever ever put them up in November but I've seen so many people of my friends on Facebook being put in there up, uh, put in, yeah, being put, I can't get the words out, put in their um, trees up. And I just thought, well, if I do it tomorrow, it means that it will free up time because uh, I'm not going to have time to do it on Thursday. I'm really busy Thursday. And uh, that took like nearly, nearly enough all day. So I didn't get much filming done, but it was nice to have that little break, you know, so... Uh, so that's just Amazon emailing me. Um, I'm still waiting for my Christmas card from my sister that I ordered from Moonpig. And, yep, surprise, surprise, we're all now are at it again. You know, it's this, they're striking, so now I'm sort of panicking and we're going to get it in time. And it's, it's just becoming a joke, you know. People need their mail, you know. We understand you want more money, but work with the system, not against it. You know, they could easily still continue working while they resolve an issue. It's just, I dread to think what's going to happen with the Christmas mail. I really do. But what I've done is there's a couple of people on YouTube. Remember that I said I select five people every year. Well, this person, I can exclusively reveal, is in Essex. Okay, so it's quite close to me. I have wrapped up your gift. Okay, so this is one of your gifts and I will be sending that tomorrow because of the post strikes. When you get it, please do not open it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one of these labels on it. Okay, so you can't open it until the 25th. Okay, so I'm going to stick one of them on and then you won't be able to open it until then. And I would like, if you can, could you open it on camera? You know who you are. Um, well, I think you know who you are, but if you could open it on camera, because I'd like to see your reaction to the gift, if that's okay with you. Um, so I'm going to get that sent off. It will become invite every, because I'm no way risking raw mail. Hell no. Not with all the delays that's going on. So it will come invite every. But they've been rated the worst courier. I think raw mail are, you know, at least every Amazon Logistics, CPD, they're all still doing it and they're the ones that are going to get the most business because raw mail they won't i don't think they're going to last much longer but yeah so yes i'm off to the shops after this uh, i'm gonna get uh some issues that i need to get i need to get just trying to think if i need to get anything in pound plan but i don't think i do and then i'll come back probably have a mac and D's for lunch and then Peter in the evening, what's today, is it Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday, so um, I'm doing a live video at two o'clock, which obviously this goes up at 7.30, so you would have missed that by then, but it's always available on Catch Up. And then, um, just 
trying to think what I'll be doing after that. Probably just emails. I mean, yesterday was so mucked up with all the decorations. And um, I just thought, well, I'll get them up now and get it out of the way. I'm, ju I'm trying to find Christmas lights. And can you believe I cannot find any that will fit, you know, the tree. It's all outdoor stuff. But yeah, so uh, that's already wrapped up. As I said, it will come through every, which is Herms, and they're pretty good. I've never had a problem with them, apart from the fact that some days they delay it, um, but, you know, you still get it. So I think they're quite a good collier. Um, I mean, my guy that's over here, he he's really, really good. Like within another hour, 10 minutes of it going out for delivery, it's like here the next day. Uh, sorry, it's here within like an hour. So, yeah, I think today is going to be like a movie day, I think. Yeah. Movie, 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 I think. <laughs> so. Plus, I want to get some filming done. But it will be sad to see, you know, this painting hibernate for a few months, uh, for a few weeks. Because, when, but when I bring it back, it's literally going to be five days only. So if we're not finished by then, then that's it. But what I'm going to do is you're going to get one at 10 o'clock and one at 7.30, just to try and, in an attempt to get it finished, really. Um, but coming up tomorrow is the start of the Christmas paintings. And we're going to kick it off with the Coca-Cola van. And then I've got a few hidden surprises along the way. If you are a member of my crafting channel and you've subscribed to that channel, there are some really exciting things coming up um, in the next few days. So be sure not to miss that. If you're a bit of a crafter, then you can join my other channel, which is Crafts with Mike. Um, I've done a Simba painting yesterday. Uh, I've got this like little, it's like paint your own sort of Simba thing, but the bloody film ran out. So uh, I couldn't do it. So I don't know where, and I need to figure out where the the film has gone because I do recall filming it because I started the, as you can see, I started the paint, but I can't find that video anywhere. So I don't know what's happened to it and I've got a feeling it's on the phone that got broke. The screen's all battered up. So I've got a feeling that it's probably stuck in there. So that's not good, is it? Now that's nice, we've actually completed the uh, circle for that, so that's cool. I like how they've done that, that's beautiful. But yeah, I wanna get some paintings with one day saving. Um, cause yeah, got, they've got this gorgeous snowman. I don't think we're gonna make it this year, but it's always nice for like, you know, next year and that, so. Yep. But I don't know if we're still going tomorrow because I need to go over there and they're now saying that there's more strikes on the trains and I'm, I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow if that happens because it's just gonna backlog me but, and I need to get some orders but I don't know whether to send it over there or send it here because when I'm out, I send it to my relatives because otherwise they leave it on the doorstep and I don't like that. So, Chances are they're going to strike, so I'll just send it over there. And if push comes to shove and they do strike, I'll have to go the next day, which I didn't really want to do because obviously I needed to go tomorrow. But like everything else, it's bloody railway. Greater Berlio Anglia is the most, excuse my French, but shittest railway ever. They've had nothing but problems. If it's not signaling problems, it's something else that, you know, bring back National Express. Hopefully they'll go bust because they're crap. There's nothing but problems on this railway. Constant delays, always problems, you know. 
The row, the row fares to extortionate, seven pound thirty return for Braintree to Whitton, and it's like only fifteen minutes up the road. It's disgusting. Even when it's not like peak hours, it's like really, really expensive. But yeah. As I said, I can't do multi-placing because this tray has got something wrong with it. They, as you can see, they're not really moving down here. It's almost like there's a static issue. So there's a little brush that um, Diamond Paintings with TM uh, told me about. Do subscribe, you know, let's try and get her to about 100 subs if we can, or perhaps 150. She's, she's very, um, she's a polite uh, lady. She's very... She always uh, supports everyone and does some lovely paintings. So yeah. I don't think my ID stay box in, because I've done that yesterday. That's what it looks like, because a wheel goes onto that, um, which looks like this. But I don't know if that's in, because I did get two copies yesterday, so I'll have to check that. But yeah. And then if I've got a sandwich, I might grab a sandwich. In Greg's on my way back because I when I go shopping I work from the furthest store away and then work backwards there's no point going to the near one and then like go out of your way you might as well just do the furthest one and work your way back you know I got that from my relative and I found out the other day you know I said my family is very secretive well it turns out that my nan died yeah and she died, apparently, on the 23rd of October. But no, let's keep it a secret from Michael, you know. So I only found out because I was doing a... Uh, I think I was doing tea or something. And I saw this box and I thought, what the fuck is that, you know. And I looked on there and it said... It looked like a photo of my nan. And I looked at it and it said, Anne Anderson, to celebrate the life of Anne Anderson, 23rd of October at Kirby Cross Memorial or something, uh, cemetery or something like that. So, yeah, nice of them to let me know. But that's why I have so much a vengeance against my dad. I hate him. What sort of person keeps that a secret from someone? That's not... That is terrible. I never got to say goodbye or nothing. I mean, to be fair, I weren't really close to her. You know, I wasn't... I never really saw her because she used to live in Walton on the Nays and I live in Braintree, so... I mean, I know she got dementia and she went into a care home, but what sort of a person keeps that secret? And that's why I have so much of vengeance with him. I shouldn't, but I can't forgive and forget that. That is just like, he's a freak. He really is a freak. And then he's, th he's sort of like buys me gifts going... Um, like, as guilt trip sort of thing. He'll buy me a gift at Christmas just to make himself look good, you know? So he's not like, oh, I'm a bad parent and stuff like that, you know? But, yeah, what sort of person keeps that secret? So, yeah. But, you know, karma will get him, as they say. Because they will. Karma will get... Him for keeping that secret from me. That is for sure. I just think that's so wrong. But anyway, um, so yeah, after this, we're going to be working on the Coca Cola fan. You will see a pre record on the first, and then remember that we'll do whipping chats as well. So it will be a mixture of pre records and lives. So obviously, on Thursday will be a pre record, then the Friday will be a whipping chat live. So, yep. But don't forget, it's the uh, coming out show of the jungle tomorrow, isn't it? Nine o'clock. So, uh, that'd be good. Can I just say, I love the way that they've circled this. I think that will really pop. I had all the drawers out again yesterday. I still can't find these bloody colours. So, uh, 
I don't know where they've gone. And I'm, not, I'm determined to not buy another one. I know they're here. It just means having to sit there and tidy up. But you know when you sort of like see crap and you just <laughs> you just don't want to like tidy it up? <laughs> and it's like, right, I'll leave that to the next day. Then the next day comes and it's like, no, I don't want to do it now. Um, but yeah. Oh, Crafting with Kay, is that you? Come in Unboxing Monday or something. I think you've done, is it an unboxing video you've just done, Kay? I see it pop up. If it's for Monday, you've got the wrong day of the week, lovey, because it's Wednesday today. <laughs> Thought I'd be a bit cheeky there. Sorry. <laughs> oh, do you know what? She got me onto this film last night. It's called... Guardians of the Galaxy, I think it's something holiday, holiday season or something holiday. Guardians of the Galaxy holiday. And when they open the, the credits, they sing the song, um, like a Christmas song. And it's a mixture of cartoon and film, but Kevin Bacon's in it. It's in a big Christmas box. And then at the end, they set the, on the credits, it says Merry Christmas to you all. I thought that was so lovely. 40 minutes, I think it's roughly about 40 minutes, but yeah... I really enjoyed that because Kay was like, you should watch it. And I had to spend £7 to sign up to Disney Plus. But it was well worth the £7, I have to say. So, I mean, I've got a lot of parcels delayed. I've got parcels in California uh, delayed. I've got parcels in Italy delayed. I've got Moonpig delayed. You know, everything's delayed and it's, it's pissing people off, I think to say the least but yeah okay so we've done that so the question is where do we go from here <laughs> so let me just do a bit of packing up because i want to try and figure out where we go from here so That's what I need to get, a pin minder for this um, pool glue. So I'm just putting the, as you can see, I'm just trying to get the, I need, there's a little brush that you can get to get these in, but this needs a good wash. I can tell there's dirt stuck on this, so it's probably dust as I uh, kept it on the windowsill, so, uh, Go down the crack, good boy. So I'll keep that tray dormant for the minute, but I think what we'll do, guys, is we might leave it there, if that's okay, because why am I saying that's okay? It's my channel, I run it how I wish. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Um, but yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Obviously, this needs a wash, um, so we need to get that washed. Um, but yeah, it really is... I think we've got a lot more than I anticipated. As I said, we have done literally quite a lot on this. We've definitely got a lot more than I anticipated. I mean, more than halfway. I thought we'd only reach like about there, if I'm honest. But because of the colour issues, that's where we've gained time. Because of this missing and this missing, it sort of gained us more time. But we are more than halfway. So I hope that in the new year, we will get this complete. It's going to be back for five days uh, from January the 1st up until... Uh, the 5th, no, hang on a minute. When's New Year's Day? Oh man, New Year's Day. I'm not sure when New Year's Day, Day is, but basically it will run up until they say Happy New Year. So the idea is this ends at Happy New Year, midnight, okay? So it will run for probably five days leading up to that. But anyway, I will make sure that it's, from five days even if it comes back on the 25th say the 27th of december and we just move it along a bit you know yeah uh, do you know what's confused me is because i keep thinking it's bonfire night and it's not <laughs> but yeah i think we've done really really well on this it is a shame if we can't get it done by then but 
yeah, I think we've done more than we, we can on this. I mean, obviously, if it rolls over until next year, then, you know, we've certainly made a start on it. It is quite funny that we've ended up in exactly the same position as the previous painting. But, yeah, um, obviously, we have now this to do every day. So this will be every day, 7.30, because it's a theme one. Um, we shouldn't be losing drills because we've got all the drills there and the extra two bags that I mentioned in the previous video. As you can see, here's an exclusive of what's been done so far. And uh, I'm trying to beat Kay because uh, I've set Kay a challenge. So me and Kay are trying to beat each other on this and she's getting far ahead of me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's nice that you've got flecks of snow in this. It looks lovely. But please remember to like, share, subscribe. That is the end of this series for this lovely diamond painting here. But remember, this will be back for um, five days very soon. Take care, guys. Have a lovely evening ahead. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. If you fancy buying me something, then the Amazon wish list is there. If you want to email me about a question of diamond painting or you want to uh, reach out to me, my, diamond, my email is in the description. And obviously, if you want to buy this painting for yourself and get the washi tape, the washi tape is from Calabri Crafts on Etsy, and this is from Amazon. Please remember to check them out. But anyway, take care, guys. Have a lovely evening. And that has been the end of this series for this lovely painting. We'll see you tomorrow for the start of the Christmas ones. And it is a fun one tomorrow. But yeah, that's going up at 7.30 tomorrow. Bye, guys.